Hey everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. Well, I am going to show you something very powerful. Uh, you might not realize the benefit of it right now, but uh, I came across a couple of uh, interesting uh, source examples in .NET that had the ability to record your screen uh, while it's doing something. So I thought, hey, can MATLAB do that? And yes, of course. Nothing is not impossible in MATLAB. On top of that, uh, why would I do this? So let's say if I'm writing a system or testing something and I think the system sees something that may be uh, opening up as a trading opportunity while it's looking at something with data, I can pretty well uh, have a script that will kick in and start re recording the screen. I mean, this thing's powerful. Now I'm using 2014B. Now, the, the, the benefit of this is that there's a new uh, class uh, in MATLAB called Video Writer. I'm going to show you how that works. And as usual, they have some great uh, examples. So I'm just using this one that you can find on the documentation. Um, so let me just show you. Uh, there are a couple of older versions that uh, don't really work all that well. But this script that I just pieced together here, which is from that example, works awesome. So what you do, you're just setting up an object for the video writer, you name the file peakstate.avi. Now for Windows, the only player I could see that works uh, well on Windows is uh, VLC, which is an open source uh, player, so I'll show that in a minute. Um, that's free of course, uh, opens up the object. Um, now this is, this is the part where it will start recording the window. Uh, because you have that object, you can now start uh, recording uh, a plot. So in this case, it's a, it's, a, it's a surface plot, sets up the plot, no different than any other plot, uh, sets up a, a counter, and it just runs the different um, surface, and it writes that particular frame of uh, this counter. Pretty simple stuff. I'll explain that help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. And I'm going to show you what it can do. This is this is this is pretty cool. So uh, let me just uh, set it up. And what will happen is that window, that plot, will show up on my second screen. So I'll re I'll rerun it again, or maybe not. Let's just see what happens here. Um, okay. So there's my plot. Uh, I think it did run. Let me just do this again. Uh, okay. I know what I can do. Um, shrink that and make that available here. All right, so let's run it and see what happens. So it's recording it, as you can see. And if I pull up my windows, uh, here's the file that just got created. I open it, play it with the VLC player, and there it is. Very cool, eh? Um, so that's all MATLAB. So you can expect to see these kind of little videos, both for my members and for my uh, YouTube channel. So um, I think that's very cool. Um, all right. And uh, oh, uh, maybe I should show you the other one as well. Um, there was another attempt I noticed called screen capture. Uh, let me just jump into the MATLAB here. OK, so there's three different source examples here. Um, this other one I should uh, show you is, uh, which one is it? Um, like this one here. Okay, so this one, there's a sample here. Uh, you can get it on MATLAB Central, just look for the screen capture. Uh, this one kind of doesn't work because it, it, this is an older version of MATLAB, uh, but it does have something kind of useful, I guess. So does the same idea, but what it'll do, it'll just create each frame that it's recording. I'll create a JPEG or a PNG capture of my screen. Okay, so similar to um, the uh, example I just showed you, what it's going to do is it's going to create uh, this frame uh, mm -hmm. of images. So I think I've kept it down to 10. Yeah, so let's run it. And let me show you what it generates. So it's just basically going to take a capture of this particular screen that you're looking at. Um, oh, uh, yeah, of course. Movie name and recording time. So I'll put it in for five seconds. Uh, screen capture. Call it, uh, I don't know, call it test. And then five seconds. Okay. 
Very simple, off she goes. The, the AVI part, creating the AVI doesn't work, it's full of errors, but I just want to show you the useful part of this is this, these five, six, seven, five, eight files that get created. So essentially, this is all they are. Um, just a snapshot of my other screen. So nothing fancy, but it can kind of work. So some powerful options here of some of the code that you have available, creating a, an actual video, uh, automatically capturing the screen and generating PNG, or as you can see in the code, uh, a JPEG as well. So some useful stuff that you can do with MATLAB to capture moments uh, on your potential tr testing or automated testing recorded when certain conditions happen or certain triggers. So I'm intending to take full advantage of this both for the images and the video uh, as I've demoed in this actual video. Let me know what you think. I'll put the links on my blog. Talk to you later.